What's up guys? So for this episode I ended up going all the way to 14. It kind of makes me wonder, you know, um, as I make these episodes, like how long I'll be able to maintain this kind of increment, uh, you know, standard of two levels per episode. Uh, but actually, what's funny is that it took less time this episode to get through two levels than it did last. But, you know, I think the reason is probably due to the fact that I had to, like, go between so many zones and, you know, deal with that. In this episode, I did end up just pretty much staying in Darkshore. I go to Darnassus by the end of this just to deal with some things, get get a profession, uh, which I'll talk about, and of course, uh, get some weapon skills just on the side, which is cool. The cues are getting worse. I want to say that I at first heard, like in the comments, like uh, people were saying, like, yeah, man, on Sundays during peak hour, it's like, 4k on 4,000 people are are in wait for uh, the queues and I thought like that was kind of ridiculous like the most I've ever seen on this server was like 700 and I think that was on like a Saturday uh, maybe a week or so ago I was like that that doesn't sound right but uh, then I started hearing from other people like yeah I mean it's like five to six thousand <laughs> and and shit like that and then I still have yet to see numbers like that on the queue, but um, on a Wednesday, keep in mind, on a Wednesday I tried logging on and the queue was at about 1,700. That's that's pretty insane for 1,700 people to be in wait for a server which we have no idea how, how many people it can hold in the first place. Um, on a Wednesday? Like, that's crazy. I, I think that's insane. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, Blizzard response um, to Nostalrius, if you guys, you know, are aware of such a thing, if, you know, because it kind of came out of the blue, they waited so long to fucking do anything about it, um, up until the point where, like, I think it was around, like, 250,000 uh, people signed that petition to, like, Mike Morheim, Morheim, whatever his name is, um, so, <laughs> first off, I just want to talk about the fact that they claimed um, that they had that this is not conducive to like their engagement typically uh, with the player base in in World of Warcraft. This is not how they usually run things. Well, uh, I would disagree. I feel like this is completely, completely true to how they respond <laughs> and how long it takes for them to respond to. You know the player base, because at the end of the day, guys, are they making, are they have they made the game for people like us or people that are like completely new and just want to play a casual game? You know, they want to cater to them, not us. So of course they're going to take their time, you know, responding to us, and it's just kind of ridiculous. And uh, so actually on. On the legal side of things, they they um, said verbatim, um, "Why not just let Nostarius continue the way it was?" They say the honest answer is failure to protect against the intellectual property infringement would damage Blizzard's rights. This applies to anything that uses WoW's IP, including unofficial servers. And while we've looked onto the possibility, into the possibility, there is not a clear legal path to protect. Blizzard's IP and grant an operating license to a pirate server. And I suppose that's understandable up until the point uh, where you have so many other vanilla private servers, many of which we probably don't, you know, even know about because they might have not uh, advertised themselves enough. But uh, I, I, I don't really know of many vanilla <coughs> servers that are older uh, than Nostalrius, but you know because it seems as though like if a a certain server a pirated server has a wow ip for long enough and it's not um taken down then i i feel <clears throat> then then blizzard loses some form of its uh rights in that sense in that um and i i, I really don't understand um what what their uh, response entailed as far as this whole idea of, of pristine realm. 
don't know if you guys heard about that either uh but basically they're saying like they're gonna get rid of recruit a friend bonuses they're gonna get rid of uh character boosts in terms of like heirlooms and um stuff like that and world of warcraft tokens cross realm zones um and it just it's it's really it doesn't make sense to me because it's like at the end of the day was that what we were asking for i i would say no <laughs> we weren't because it it would still be in the same expansion and really nothing would change other than the fact that it would just be harder to play um but we don't want that for the current expansion. We just want to go back, you know? We want original vanilla, you know? Um, I guess original vanilla is kind of uh, redundant by saying that, but uh, <laughs> whatever. They also said, we explored the option for developing classic servers, and none could be executed without great difficulty. Wow, what else is new, right? Uh, <laughs> if we could push a button and all this would be created, we would. However, there are tremendous operational challenges to integrating classic servers, not to mention the ongoing support of multiple live versions for every aspect of WoW. Why don't you hire, or at least somehow like work with uh, the Nostalrius team? I, I, I hear that the, it's like a team of like 15 people. I mean, if, if they are capable of maintaining a server that hosted... Um, what seem to be at bounds of uh, 800,000 accounts, <laughs> then I feel like you can do it. <laughs> 15 people. I, I understand there's like a link to like battle.net and there's kind of, of course, like the whole issue with like you'll have to have another maintenance team on it. But I mean, come on. I mean, there's got to be some way to do it if, Nostal if the Nostalrus team. Uh, was able to do this um, just as I said with so many people playing on it um, there's probably arguments against this I don't really know for sure but at the end of the day I'm just a sad man that, <laughs> that Nostalrius is taken down and it really it's not fun so back to the episode I just want to talk about how um, of course Vanilla Guide uh, for me wasn't so straightforward uh, all the time so I had to be utilizing uh AOWOW, if, if that's how you uh, pronounce it, I, I suppose. I don't know if you guys know about that, but that's kind of like the uh, the thought bot or the wow head uh, to um, these kind of, you know, vanilla private servers um, that I like to utilize because it's very handy. Uh, you just search up a quest and oftentimes it'll help you out. People comment and stuff. Um, you know, it's not completely barren of uh, engagement, so... I would say use that guys if, if you have nothing else um, but uh, okay so just as like a quick little thing that I noticed people sought to like disenchant items and work on their enchanting skills um, by means of asking like levelers to uh, yeah I think as you can see this guy's yelling it out in the chat there um, he, so some people give out free enchants, and I didn't utilize that because I guess I didn't notice. But um, other <laughs> other people like ask if you could like trade uh, like greens over, and they'll and then they'll you know give you an enchant. Uh, and I had a green that I probably plan on like vendoring, but <laughs> I didn't want to go out of my way to like run to the guy. And I don't know. I'm just a, I'm a lazy guy. And I, I want to get on with uh, leveling, of course. So, as far as uh, dead mines, because I know I like talking about dead mines, um, that should be coming up in a few episodes. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, probably, I don't know. Would it be like three, two or three episodes from now? That's that's the most probable um, case, I'd say. Uh, assuming that I keep going like two levels up each time. I, I probably want to be like 17 or 18 before I head into dead mines because oftentimes tanks aren't really that um, proficient unless you know of course they're uh, higher than the minimum required level for uh, dead mines which is 16 from what I believe so I did have to grind my way through some parts despite the number of quests 
uh, offered in Darkshore, which is which is okay. It's it's cool. But, um, you know, Vanilla Guide. It, it did say like grind your way through um, up to a certain point, and I suppose you know. Now that I think about it, that's kind of like the the uh, the side that's kind of ambiguous as to how many mobs you should be taking out, and like you kind of ask the question like which uh, like percentage inwards to uh, this level should I be in after having you know grinded through this set of mobs? Should I be like at fifty percent, forty percent? Does it not really matter according to Vanilla Guide? You know that's kind of where. I get a little confused there, um, but right as you can be, as you can tell here, uh, I I started dealing with a my first bugged quest, and uh, you know what was interesting is that I, I don't know if like the bears that I'm supposed to be, uh, you know, kind of acquiring here um, for this plagued lands quest. Is are, are they supposed to be like hostile or not? It, 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 really quick, there. Um, someone else did the quest uh, <laughs> successfully, and it wasn't even on a hostile bear. So I, I suppose they don't have to be hostile for you to complete the quest. Um, but they did it. And of course, I wasn't in their group or anything. But <laughs> I I got the quest. I, I completed it. Uh, from them doing it, so that was a weird thing. I guess it kind of worked in my favor in that sense, but uh, I got to s <laughs> I got to keep the the uh, bear uh, capturing device thing, um, and it's really going to come to no use. <laughs> I think, but I might end up just deleting it. Uh, but whatever the case, I I kind of like those quests. You know, the quests that um, bring you to like only have one try before you have to kind of abandon it and like go back to the quest giver and try it again you know they they give you like this this one charge uh, uh, kind of device to use on whatever you have to use it on and if you fail then you gotta start over and I don't mind that you know it's kinda cool uh, it just adds to that uh, hardship that you gotta deal with and of course it's uh, additionally adds to the sense of triumph when you maybe get it in the first, you know, time, first try, because, I mean, uh, then you're not left with that kind of looming um, idea that you might have to, like, retry over and over on the same quest and uh, have it be a nuisance. So uh, Those are the quests I think you kind of uh, spend the most time in planning out, like, your, your, your methods. Uh, oh yeah, right here, I dealt with a server maintenance shutdown, so, uh, yeah, there's a kind of change in, uh, scenery here, a little bit, just, I think the, uh, it looks like the, I don't know, it might be the time of the day or something, I think it's like later in the night on the server or something, uh, so I still have, you know, I noticed that I still have quests in, um, Lock Modan, and they're still pending there, but I did end up finding out that Vanilla Guide has a plan for Lachmodan. I think it's like from level 17 to 18, I go back, which is cool. You know, that's 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 pretty cool. I, di I didn't think I'd be going back to Lachmodan, but um, it certainly has a plan for me. I would hope that it gets those quests that I accepted out of the way. I would assume so, you know. Um, otherwise, I, I guess wouldn't wouldn't be going back. Uh, I don't know, but I did have a harder time this this episode because of higher level mobs. Um, you know, rather than many of the same level kind of converging in on me and just attacking me at the same time, I I had to deal with like you know higher level mobs and you know that just posed a new challenge a challenge I think for Dale um, in that you know uh, it's of course much harder to take out a single mob I think uh, that that is way above your level than it is to take out maybe just a few mobs that are at your level exactly um, so I'm going of course to Darkshore and, and I'm sorry <laughs> I'm going to Darnassus um, 
And yeah, I'm, I'm about to like train my weapon skills. A vanilla guy didn't suggest that. It took like 30 silver off of me. Uh, so in the long run, I don't know if that's going to be detrimental, but hey, at the end of the day, you know, I, I have these weapon skills and if it comes time to like wield a weapon that, you know, this, this, uh, this <clears throat> new training like allows for, then that'd be awesome, you know, uh, it would be worth it. So I'm also <laughs> training first aid of all the professions to get, I get first aid. I don't get mining or anything because, um, well, let's just say uh, I'm not the sharpest tool in the box. <laughs> no, but really, I did have it in the back of my mind as I was training first aid. I was like, shit, I get it. Um, and then I feel like I, I, I'm just like too far ahead at this point. I don't know. But it's probably not true at all because I am going back to like lock mode in and stuff. And that's like a beginner zone um, with probably plenty of copper veins. Uh, oh man, I, I probably should get mining, you know, I'm, I've been battling with this, but I'm just so lazy. I feel like I could just as easily, uh, train mining, uh, when I'm 60 and just like kind of farm it that way when I have like a mountain stuff, make it a little easier for myself. Um, but let me know what you guys think on that front, because I, I really don't know. I'm, I, I lost my sense of direction in this case. Okay, so I'm about to cut it off here, but, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have, mo I have more to say, but I wasn't able to in this episode, so. Yeah, tell me what you guys think on the whole Blizzard response, and <laughs> I hope you guys can kind of agree with my sentiment that it wasn't enough <laughs> uh, for the community. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys, of course. I'll see you soon. Peace.